Hey guys, in this beginner InDesign tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a triangle. You might notice in the rectangle or frame options here on the left-hand side, when you click and hold, you get other options or other shapes that you can create. One of them's the polygon tool. You'll notice you don't see a triangle tool. Here's a quick and easy way to create a triangle. Grab that polygon tool. Instead of clicking and dragging, just click on your document. Now this is gonna allow you to adjust some things like the width and the height. What I would do is make these the exact same. And then on number of sides, a triangle has three sides. So just put three, hit okay. And now you have a triangle. Now this triangle, if we go back to our selection tool, can be scaled around and squished however we want. If we wanna keep the shape, we can scale it up while holding shift, just like that. Now we can do the same thing with frames click and hold, go to the polygon, click. It's actually got the same settings already. Hit okay, and we've got the same triangle. This triangle though, has an X inside of it indicating we wanna put a graphic into it. And if you wanna do that, I show this in all my shape tutorials, you can either copy and paste into a frame or you can go up to file, down to place. I had checked replace selected item. We don't want that, so I'm gonna uncheck that. Then I'm gonna hit open. Now it's gonna give me a little thumbnail. So we're gonna click inside of either the shape or the frame. Because I made a frame, I'm gonna indicate that, hey, I want, I want this inside of there, just like that. That's how you can place an image inside of here. And you know, the image is actually a little bit larger. It might fit better. So what we can do is click on this, right click, and go down to fitting. And we can just fill it proportionally or whatnot. Any of these options here, we'll click fill it proportionally and it scales it down just like that. So now I'm inside of a triangle, but that's how you create triangles. And you can also swap the fill and the stroke just like that. You can adjust them here in the appearance panel. You can change the stroke size. If you wanted 10 points, you can actually add a fill, maybe a color. And the other thing you can do is get rid of them either by clicking zero over here or over here on the left-hand side, select whichever one you want and click the slash icon. Now, obviously, Shapes are a lot better to create colors and backgrounds and things if they are vector graphics and you want fills and strokes. And frames, you would generally use to put graphics inside of. But that's how to create a triangle here in Adobe InDesign.